So if you think three houses was kind of groundbreaking for giving your characters squads with them, they actually didn't do it first. Langerser did it first, for real. Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Crit. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, we have a very special video for you today. This is courtesy of NIS America. NIS America is a subsidiary of Nippon Ichi Software from Japan, and they handle all of the, uh, basically the localization and the publishing of their games here in the West. And they happen to publish Langrisser 1 and 2. And it's been a little while since we've talked about Langrisser, especially since Langrisser Mobile came out, and unfortunately I have not put as much time into Langrisser Mobile as I've wanted to, but I still really, really like that game. And like for anything that I talk about on this channel, especially when I do sponsored videos and stuff, I only do sponsored videos for things that I actually really like and play myself. And so Langrisser Mobile is still a game that I have and play every now and again, but unfortunately with stuff like Heroes and other things taking priority and trying to make videos while still working uh, full time, it gets pretty tough. So today's episode is not necessarily sponsored by NIS America, but they did send me this awesome package here that has everything inside of it. So I do want to give a shout out to them, especially to Laura. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, I know these are limited, and in fact, I don't think you can find these special editions online anymore, but they do have offers for you guys who are still interested in getting the cool stuff that's in here. You can get it in a digital version from Steam, which I think is pretty awesome. So Langrisser 1 and 2 is obviously a remake of Langrisser 1 and 2, but we're finally getting it here in the West, and we actually get to play it for the first time, obviously, on Switch, PlayStation 4, and you can also get it on Steam, which I think is pretty cool as well. So whichever platform you've got, go for it. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit different than Langrisser Mobile. I've seen some comments from people talking about how the art style and everything is different, which I think is kind of interesting too. So we will get into that, of course, but for the time being, I think it's time that we unbox this guy. So, I'm going to carefully open it. I don't remember everything that's included in this, but I have a pretty good idea, and I can't wait to add it to my collection. And like I said, unlike stuff like even Fire Emblem, you can actually get these special edition stuff, like the music CD and the art book and all that kind of stuff. You can get it on Steam. You can get a digital copy of it, which I think some people would probably prefer anyway. So I think that's really, really cool. All right, she is open. Let's uh, see if we can get that in there. It's all nicely confined into this little brick. Okay, that's beautiful, look at that. Wow. I love the revamp of the old art style. Ugh, oh, it's beautiful. So, a lot of people, when Langrisser Mobile came out, they weren't too stoked about the adaptation of the artwork, but it's because they were basically doing newly refined versions of classic artwork from like the 90s and stuff. Um, and a lot of people don't know, the Langrisser series is kind of like a sister series to Fire Emblem in a way. I did get comments previously from people that were saying it was like a ripoff of Fire Emblem. It's definitely not. Both of the series were both being developed around the same time, actually. So they really are just uh, interestingly similar. And it's super unfortunate that we haven't gotten more Langrisser games here in the West. But I think Langrisser Mobile has kind of changed that a little bit. And I'm hoping that this Langrisser 1 and 2 does super well as well. And uh, maybe we'll get more in the future because that would be pretty awesome. But I love it. I don't know. It's The revamp of the old school art style has really grown on me a lot. It's kind of interesting to see stuff in this style, because these days we don't really get a lot of that uh, anymore. Everything's kind of like the new school anime kind of look, if you ask me. Which there's nothing wrong with, but when somebody actually does something a little bit different, uh, I appreciate that, because it's cool. It puts a different flair on it. So I'm going to carefully unwrap this. It's a beautiful box. And now, how does one open this nicely? Okay, I see it on the back. This is a really cool box, I like it. I'm hoping to, within the next couple of months, move somewhere else, get uh, either a new apartment or new home, haven't decided yet, and I cannot wait to set up a beautiful like bookshelf in the back with a bunch of Fire Emblem stuff, hopefully this guy on there too. You know, the uh, stereotypical YouTuber thing, I, I think that would be really, really cool. So right off the bat, I see the art book and the soundtrack, I'm gonna just start pulling stuff out of here. So we're doing soundtrack first, so they have these nice little sleeves, which is good, I like that. Prevent stuff getting knocked around. So that's beautiful. We can see there, I see Elwyn, I see, is that Ledin? I don't remember who the hero of Langrisser 2 is, but it could be Ledin. I actually should uh, brush up on my Langrisser history, but I'm excited to actually play this, uh, the game itself, and uh, learn a little bit more, because they do have the chapters, the old school chapters, in Langrisser Mobile that you can take a look at, which is fun. But um, this is actually the remake of the game itself. So as you can see, they sent it to me on Switch. 
Super, super stoked about that. I'll get some up-close shots for you guys. Nice tagline on the back. Heroes die, but legends live forever. I like it. Yeah, this is beautiful. Some people did say that they liked the Langrisser Mobile artwork better than the Langrisser 1 and 2 artwork. It's done in a completely different style. But I think that this is a cool style too, and I can't wait to check out the game itself and uh, get to play it. I've seen some of the trailers and stuff, but I haven't been paying too close attention. And um, later on in this video, I'll try to capture some footage of the game for you guys to see as well. I'm not going to be able to do a full review of the game in this video. I've been too busy lately, but I will give you my first impressions of the game from playing it for a little bit so far. Alright, so I'm going to put this down. Got everything else out here. This is the Langrisser 1 and 2 visual book. This is a nice, beautiful hardcover book. Really, really nice. I love it. I love it already. I'm not going to go through everything here, but here are a bunch of the characters. Actually, what's also really cool about this art book is we even get some insight into what the original illustrators kind of had concepted and thought. And that's not even something that we usually get in even Fire Emblem stuff. We might get little tidbits here and there, uh, but I really love how they've kind of broken this out. So there are even little blurbs in here from original artist Satoshi Urushihara, and it's really interesting to see the insight into some of these original character designs from back in the day. I really, really like that. What I will say about the new art style is that it does kind of look like Langrisser Mobile took a much more faithful approach to the style, kind of trying to modernize the style. They really did basically just take the exact old artwork and bring it up to today's more modern standards. And in this Langrisser 1 and 2, there is definitely a distinct uh, style difference in this new art style. But I don't think that's bad. I think it's kind of interesting and I'm glad to see it imagined a little differently. That way we've got kind of the best of both worlds, I think. And honestly, I think that this new art style could really grow on me as well. It's definitely beautiful in its own right. In fact, maybe for those of you that weren't too keen on the Langrisser Mobile artwork, maybe you like this style even better. I like it. I like it a lot. This is really, really nice. They even have backgrounds. Here's some of the art that I think is probably from some of the sprites in the game. So the cool thing about this as well is a lot of things are going like 3D these days, especially Fire Emblem. This game is still 2D as far as the in-game uh, sprites and stuff go. So you know, a lot of you guys out there have been looking for something else that still does sprite work um, since everything is kind of moving and upgrading these days. This is an interesting little thing here. This, I think, if I remember correctly, these are like beautiful art cards. I think I'm going to open it so we can take a look at them, but I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to damage them or anything. And they're nicely in this little plastic sleeve. So I don't know what one would do with these, but they look really, really nice. I love this this art style. And there's the kind of more new school look that they've got going on. There's Cherie, I see. And is that, um, I think that's Chris. That must be my girl. I like her too. I should remember her name, to be honest with you. Um, and then this must be, it's the blonde healer girl, Liana. Yeah, I need to brush back up on things, clearly. But these are beautiful. I like them. I like them a lot. That must be Jessica, if I'm not mistaken. And that's got to be, it has to be Leiden. So this must be Elwyn. And maybe that's a new revamp of Liana, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, someone similar. I don't think it's Lana. But anyway, these are really nice. like them quite a bit. This would just make like a cool, I don't even know, like an art wall or something, but I don't know, I appreciate it. I like when stuff is included in special editions that's just beautiful artwork. I like this, I like this a lot. And this is interesting. This is Langrisser 1 and 2, Songs of War. So this is, is this a revamp of the classic music? Let's take a look. So here's the Langrisser 1 and 2 new soundtrack, it looks like, which is the original soundtrack. There's two discs in here, 25 songs. And this actually has three discs from the original games. That's awesome. So they have the original music here for us as well. That's really cool. I like that. I'm definitely going to bump out to some of this. They have some really good themes in this game that I know from Langrisser Mobile, but I would definitely be excited to check out the tracks that I don't already know in this game as well. So I'm super excited for all of this. I can't wait to give this a shot. It's definitely going to be a little bit different than Langrisser Mobile for those of you out there that might be picking this up. Um, the squads, basically, of soldiers with your character are separated, at least as far as I'm concerned, I think in Langrisser 1. That's always been the case. It was Langrisser Mobile that kind of put them together into one unit to make it more friendly for mobile. Um, which is funny because 
Fire Emblem Three Houses is now doing the things with the soldiers. So if you think Three Houses was kind of groundbreaking for giving your characters squads with them, they actually didn't do it first. Langrisser did it first, for real, which is pretty interesting too. But I can't wait to check it out. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the game if you do end up picking it up. So like I said, it does look like the limited editions are sold out already, but if you do really want some of this stuff, you can get it in digital format through Steam, which I think is really, really cool. So once again, the game is on Nintendo Switch, uh, PlayStation 4, and Steam. And of course, the standard editions of the game are obviously still available. You can get that on Amazon or Best Buy, or also you could just buy the game on Steam as well. So now let's take a look at some gameplay and I'll give you my first impressions of the game. So after playing for a few hours and giving it a try, I have to say that I am enjoying myself so far. I think its weakest area is probably the controls, simply because this is a glossy upgrade to an old classic and they stayed very faithful to the original game's gameplay. What I mean by that is you're not going to find a lot of the more modern SRPG quality of life improvements here, because they didn't want to change the core gameplay of the original. An example of this is when cycling through units with the L and R buttons. It goes through enemies as well, even if you start off having selected your own units. So, you know, stuff like that. It kind of makes this feature a lot less useful, because if you're trying to quickly cycle through your units that have yet to act, this might not be an efficient way of doing it if there are a bunch of enemies on the map. But if you understand what you're getting into with Lancaster 1 and 2 and set your expectations accordingly, I think you can have a lot of fun with this, and I've certainly been enjoying it still. There's also a level of hand-holding that modern games have that this doesn't. For example, if you don't select your mercenaries to bring them along even in the first map or two of both games, you're already going to have your butt handed to you. And there's something kind of interesting about that. A chapter one with little mercy if you screw up. Of course, the music is beautiful. This soundtrack has always been great, but it is cool to see it modernized as well. And I think one of the most exciting aspects here is going to be all the secrets and branching story paths, as there are a ton to experience here, so I can't wait to see what's in store with that. Overall, I'm enjoying it so far. And with that, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you do check out the game, I hope that you love it. I hope that uh, if I introduced you to Langerser M and you end up checking this out, you'll like this as well. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Shout out to NIS America for sending this to me. I'm super grateful. Uh, I'll definitely take good care of this and add it to my collection. I cannot wait. I just need the bookshelf situation happening and I'll be sure to set all this stuff up. But with that said, that's gonna wrap up this one. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>